Hello guys, my name is Zotac Gaming, and today we're going to be showing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not two people. Hello guys, my name is Zotac Gaming, and today we're going to be doing a quick fix on your Razer Mamba. Now, recently I brought myself a Rival 310. Now, the Rival 310 is quite a good mouse, it served me well for quite a while until this little problem of this thing lifting up. Now, as you can tell, it's Pretty fucked. Hello, darkness, my own friend. So, what I did is I went ahead and I brought myself the Razer Mamba. Now, I brought this a, a day ago now. And I had a problem where every single time I lifted up, it would move the bottom right. So, what you want to do is you want to open up your, your Razer Synapse and you want to go to calibration. You want to uncheck calibration. If you don't have a Razer mouse pad, the calibration does not work for you. Some people may have better luck than me, but my mouse pad is pretty thin. Well, I say pretty thin, it is pretty thick and thin, but it's a HyperX giant Goliath mouse pad thing. Razer calibration doesn't work. My electric's gonna go. I'm gonna just quickly put my key in on my electric. Whew! Hit it back. Uh, there we go, lads. Right, electric's on. Okay, so you wanna open up your Razer Synapse and go to the calibration and disable the calibration. Now, the calibration works for Razer mouse mats from what I've heard, but it doesn't work mainly for HyperX mouse mats and any other type of brand and mouse mat. Now, I'm not just saying that it's my mouse mat and nobody else's mouse mat, but the HyperX mouse mat just, just doesn't work. So what you want to do is you want to disable the calibration. Once you've done that, then you can pretty much change it to everything else. I have mine on a thousand polling rate, one is uh, zero acceleration and 400 DPI. That's my Counter-Strike sensitivity and the polling rate is important to have it as high as you possibly can. Now, it's all to do with how quick the mouse sends data to your computer. Now, once you've done that, you'll still have a problem where it will be lifting up and it'll be going to the bottom right. You will still have that problem. So then what you need to do is you need to unplug your mouse and plug it into a different USB port. I recommend if you've got a keyboard in 3.0 and you've got your mouse in 3.0, it's just to switch them around. Simple as that. Once you have done that, you will have what I have. When I lift it off, it is absolutely fine. Now, if you are getting any other problems, I also recommend that you do this final step. This final step will ensure that absolutely anything that is wrong with your mouse will be fixed. All you need to do is open up services. Boom, just like that. Scroll down until you see Razer. I think, yeah, we go. We see Razer right here. And you want to disable the SDK server. Now, what this does is absolutely really fuck all. Other than keep Razer Synapse connected to the internet, you don't need this crap. Disable it. Once you've done that, the final step is Open up Device Manager, like so. Right click on your Windows icon and open up Device Manager. Many people will tell you to type in run or search or all these other stupid things, but let's be simple and realistic here. Nobody's, nobody knows how to do that. Nobody wants to know how to do that. And my camera's off. Ooh, we're going down. Oh, look at that. Now, once you have opened up the Device Manager, what you want to do is you want to go down to your mice here. You want to click on your Razer Mamba. You want to go to Properties and you want to go to Power Management. You want to make sure this top one is disabled. Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. It needs to be disabled on the mouse. You will also find if you go to keyboards, it is also there because the buttons is registered as a keyboard. There are two inputs on your mouse. You have your mouse, which is your sensor, and you have your buttons, and they register as Razer mouse and keyboard. Even though it's not a keyboard, it technically does a keyboard function. So you also want to make sure you right click on here, go to properties, Go to power management and you want to make sure that it's unchecked on there too. Allow this device to wake up the PC or whatever the fuck it says. You can leave that enabled. That is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's, it just wakes it up. Yeah, pff, who cares? If you're using power, say the yeah, best thing you can do. Right, now what you want to do is you want to go to the Universal Serial Bus Controllers. You want to open that up and you want to have a look at the 3.0 if you're using 3.0. There's two of them here. Or you, if you're using a 2.0, go to 2.0 ones up there. Now, if you're using either or on any of your devices, then you want to do this anyway. So I recommend you follow this, this tutorial step anyway. What you want to do is you want to right click on them. You want to go to properties and you want to go to power management and you want to uncheck it because they will be checked. Nobody wants their PC to turn their mouse and keyboard off. Now, if you have a device like a keyboard, which has lighting on all the time when you put yourself into power saving mode, then you do indeed want to keep that enabled. However, if you don't give a crap and you turn your PC off like a normal person, then you want to turn it off. 
Now, the last tutorial step that you will see here is to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.